welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain conditions for existence of laplace transform so till now we have seen what is laplace transform what is inverse laplace transform what is the relation in between laplace transform and fourier transform now in this session i'll be explaining what are the conditions for existence of laplace transform so to identify whether laplace transform is exist or not this three conditions which is been defined as per drechat's principle so we can use this three condition to define whether laplace transform of given signal is exist or not so drechat's condition are used to define existence of laplace transform and these three conditions are there first condition is function must be absolutely integratable over given time interval so if function is absolutely integrate integrable in that case one can say that integration from minus infinite to infinite should be having finite value so if function is absolutely integrable in that case laplace transform is existing second condition is function should have finite number of maximas and minimas so if you have any function then it should have finite number of maxima and minima like see if i say you have a sine wave like this and this is what function f of t right so over here you can observe this is maxima and this is minima so it has only one maxima and one minima so one can say this is absolute this signal is having finite number of maximas and minima so it is having possibility of existence of laplace transform so likewise whatever function that you are observing it should have finite number of maximas and minimas so this is second condition and third condition is there must be finite number of discontinuity in given signal for given time interval so whenever you see discontinuity is happening it should be finite it is not like there should be there can be undefined number of discontinuities if there is undefined number of discontinuities in that case one cannot calculate laplace transform of given signal so these three basic conditions will define whether laplace transform is existing or not first is signal must be absolutely integrable second is signal should have finite number of maximas and minimas and third is signal must have finite number of discontinuity then only one can say laplace transform of given signal is possible otherwise one cannot have laplace transform for any signal i hope that you have understood this condition thank you so much for watching this video in next video you will be finding different properties of laplace transform so i'll explain all those properties step by step with derivation So stay tuned with this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions.